Hello, welcome back to my channel. And yes, I actually am doing a sit down chatty video for once. Um, it makes a change from doing vlogs and stuff. But as you can see, I'm in my new office area now, in my new house. Um, I'm hoping to do like a room tour, office tour update at some point. But in the meantime, I thought I would start by doing one of my favorite videos to film, which is the summer haul. Um, I think I'm going to call this like a summer holiday haul or whatever I've titled it above. So yeah, let's get cracking with that. So if you watched my last video, which shock was a vlog and it was messing around on boats, you would have seen that my beloved Vivian Westwood shoes broke and I was absolutely gutted basically to put it in a nutshell. So I was like, I can't live without some sort of flip flop. So I picked up these from a shop called Shoeaholic, they're online. I'm just gonna put this one down because it's covered in mud from Secret Garden Pie. Um, but it looks like this, basically. Um, these are Miss KG or Kurt Geiger flip-flops and they've got like holographic flowers all over them in shiny metallic wonderfulness. So um, I will link down below to prices and things because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and they're like that sort of jelly material, so I'm hoping that these will last quite a long time. They're quite comfy um, and just nice to kind of jazz up an outfit. Um, I just think they're really, really cute, so can't wait to take these on holiday with me. So next up, I have a dress by a brand called DLSB. They're on Facebook and I've been looking at this stuff for ages thinking, I really want to try it out. Um, DLSB stands for Dirty Little Style Bitch, which it's an interesting name. So I picked up this dress and it's been really, really popular. They do it in white as well. And I did actually really want the white one, but it's never in stock. So I thought I would settle with the blue pinstripe one. I actually really quite like this one. Um, it was a little bit on the pricey side. Um, it was like 34 99 which I think is a lot for what it is. But I've just been drawn to it for weeks. So it's a cold shoulder number. Um, the material is like, I guess like a cotton, um, and it's quite structured, which is nice. It's not too floppy. And I just love all this detailing on here. It's got a little tassel, tie, and again, it's also detailed on the back. Um, it's not a bad length. It comes to just above your knee, uh, not too short. And I just really, really like this. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And I was a little bit worried about what the quality would be like. I didn't know if it's gonna be really cheap. Um, it's not like the best, best quality, but it's still really, really nice. So I would highly recommend getting this. And I just think it's perfect for summer. Next up, I have some shoes to show you. And the first pair I'm gonna show you go particularly well with the dress I've just shown you. And all of these shoes are from Matalan. These are in the sale and they look like this. They're like jangly um, tie-up flip-flop sandals and they're so cute. I'll just show you one. So looks like this, got like a little mirrored detailing, all beaded and then it's got like little pom-poms and jangly bits, some more pom-poms up here and then obviously um, straps to tie up around your foot. Um, these are real leather as well, which I really like. Um, and they were in the sale, I want to say for nine pounds. I don't know if they're still in stock. I will try and link to them down below, but there are some similar styles on the Matalan website. But I just think they're really cute and I like the bright colors on them. And I just thought they were quite fun for holiday. Um, and I just, I just like them. What do you guys think? So the next pair of shoes, I just haven't done up yet. So bear with me whilst I just buckle those bad boys up. So um, whilst I'm doing these up, I will tell you that um, a friend of mine kind of drew me to these shoes. Um, so I'm only gonna do one up because I can't be asked. But basically they're these uh, buckle sandals. I'll just show you one. Um, again from Matalan, they're new in, I can link to those. Um, they're 18 pounds, which I don't think is too bad. And I just really like the sort of chrome heel detailing and they're just a great heel height. So the person who I'm blaming on me buying these shoes is Tiffany Nichols. 
Um, if you don't follow her, you should. I'll link her channel down below. But she had the black version in River Island and she was telling me how great they were and then they went out of stock and I was so upset. So I've been hunting high and low for like a pair similar and this is as good as I can get. They're very, very similar apart from their khaki. But I actually really like the khaki. I think it goes quite nice with my hair and the colouring goes nice with black, tan, loads of things. You can dress them up or dress them down. I like wearing them with jeans, dresses, the lot, pretty much. And they're just so comfy and really, really nice. The final pair of shoes I have to show you from Matalan are these bad boys. Again, in the sale. And they're silver loafers and I love them. So um, these are seven pounds in the sale, which I think is an absolute steal. And I can see me wearing these pretty much all seasons, like in spring with like pinks and stuff will look really, really cute. In the autumn, in the winter, I think silver shoes jazz up like a drab black outfit. Just any time of year, I love a metallic shoe. Um, they're really comfy as well, which is nice. And I just think they're fun. So I picked those up for seven pounds. You can't really go wrong. And I love them. Sticking with metallic shoes and coming away from Matalan for just a second, we're going to new look now to these. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories, you may or may not have seen um, when I got these, I wasn't sure on them. Um, I just thought like, oh, I love metallic shoes. Like I love silver, I think silver is really wearable. But I did wonder whether rose gold was as wearable, but it turns out it is. Um, they've got like a silver buckle detailing, they're real leather again which is great and really really soft leather, they don't rub at all which I love. Um, these were $34.99 although they may be in the sale now, who knows, but I'll try and link down to them below or again something similar. But they're really comfy and they go over a lot of stuff like, um, like baby pink and light pink looks great with them, black grey, pretty much anything. Even like this outfit now, I think would go quite well. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like them. I've been wanting a pair of rose gold shoes and now I have fulfilled that inner need. So I have one more metallic thing to show you and then we move on to less shiny things. Um, this is an eBay purchase and it is this bum bag. Um, can't remember how much I paid for it again, but I will link it down below. Um, I wore this to Secret Garden Party. Wouldn't say it's the best quality. May have ripped the pull bit off of this already, um, and the lining has ripped, but I did cram this. I had like my digital camera in here, uh, my money, my keys, loo roll, hand sanitizer, a bloody program for the festival. Everything was in this. And it's quite a sizey, sizey, roomy <laughs> um, bum bag. But I still really like it, even though I have kind of trashed it. Um, nice little purchase, I thought again would be good for holiday, just like sling around your waist whilst you're sightseeing, things like that. So yeah, I really like it and um, that's all I can say. <laughs> So now I'm going to bring your attention back to Matalan for one more thing which I picked up. Um, I don't think this is in stock anymore but I'll show it anyway. I'm sure you can pick up similar things. And it is this tunic top. It's got embroidered detail down the front, across the arms and then it's got like, I don't know what you call this but this sort of detailing on the arms. It's three quarter length and um, quite flowy and really, really nice, and just looks like that at the back with a few little darts in it. Um, I wore this a lot in spring with like jeans and stuff, but I think it looks really cute with like a pair of denim shorts and then like some sandals or some little like tan ankle boots, and it's just really wearable. Um, the cotton's nice and breathable, so if it is a bit of a chillier summer's day like it is today, um, it works perfectly, and I just really, really like it. I'm really digging Matalan stuff this year actually, they've um, upped their game a bit and it's not somewhere I would normally shop but I really like their stuff at the moment. So the next two pieces I have to show you are from Boohoo. Um, again I hadn't really shopped much at Boohoo until I would say this year um, but I'm really getting into the stuff. Some of it can be good, some of it's a bit hit and miss 
Um, but these two pieces I picked up I really like. And the first one is this pink cold shoulder dress. Um, I wore this to Turtle Bay preview opening in Peterborough and it was great. It's a nice length, it's like a midi length. It goes great with those road, rose gold <laughs> shoes and like a pink handbag. It's just great. Um, really sort of romantic, roughly feel and it's sort of like a crepe material. Um, just really easy to wear, you can wear it with flats, heels. I just think it's a great piece for spring, summer and holiday. And then if you watched my strawberries and cream vlog, you will recognise this next dress, which is this one. Um, again from Boohoo in a burgundy colour. It looks really see-through on camera. I hope it wasn't that see-through when I wore it, but there we are. Um, I just think it's great for like festivals, again for holiday. Um, it's really thin linen material, um, which is great for if it's a hot day. I wore this in 30 degree heat and it was actually really quite good, um, nice and breezy. The only bit is um, across the neckline, it felt quite warm because it's a little bit thicker. Um, that's my only complaint, but in 30 degree heat, you know, it's not done bad at all. I love the um, flared sleeves, it makes me want to swoosh a lot when I wear it. And again, it comes to the knee and it's just a great piece. Um, for festivals, I wore this um, with tan ankle boots. On holiday, I plan to wear it with um, some wedge sandals that I've got. Um, um, but I just think it's really, really nice, um, easy to chuck on. And I quite like a bit of burgundy for summer. I know it's not a particularly summery colour, um, but I just love this colour, so why not? And then the last thing I have to show you is my first ever purchase from Zara. Um, never, ever, ever shopped at Zara, and I don't know why, because they do some really lovely stuff, and everyone always raves about how great they are, but for some reason I've never shopped there. Um, I follow a woman on Instagram called Thrifty Fashion Mum. I'll link her down below. I've got a lot of links in this video. Um, and I just love her style, and she had this dress, and basically, enabled me. <laughs> I was like, I need that dress. Um, so I will show you said dress. It's this beauty. Um, it's in the sale. Again, I don't know if you can still get it. I hope you can. But loads of people are, are selling this on eBay, although it is at like full price. So watch out for that. Um, but again, if you're like me, you'll probably want to buy it anyway. <laughs> so it's a grey, um, long length, I don't know what you'd call it, tunic dress, smock tunic -y dress with beautiful embroidered detailing on the arms, on the back and obviously across the front as well and again has that little tie up tassel -y detailing. This is in a size medium and again if you follow me on Instagram um, I was umming and ahhing about whether or not it was a bit on the small side for me because just particularly around the bosom area it's quite tight but then it's very, very, very flowy on the bottom and I just felt like if I went for a size up it would kind of drown me a little bit. After a few people saying to me, keep it, it looks great on you, um, I decided to keep it in the size medium. I do have a bit of a cleavage going on as you'll see in the cutaway, but I like it. I really love this colour with like blue eyes as well. Grey just looks so nice. And again, I thought this could transition quite easily into autumn, winter as well. Just put like a pair of um, black boots and some tights on with it. And a leather jacket and you're good to go really. Um, I get loads of compliments when I wear this and I just really like it. I think it's so nice. And I'm so glad I've got something from Zara now. I feel all fancy. <laughs> Is it just me? But I think Zara's quite fancy. Um, but yeah, that's my dress. So that is my summer slash summer holiday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it feels really weird filming a sit down video. Um, yeah, I would have more sort of fashion -y bits to show you, um, but the only other bits I bought were for festivals and they're not really everyday appropriate. Um, and also I've been putting a lot of money into a house recently. Um, I really want to do some like homeware halls or like tours or like befores and afters of rooms and stuff like that um, so stay tuned for those but if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to do or film then just let me know 
On a complete opposite note, can we just take a look at the lashes? Let me just zoom in. Look at these lashes. How awesome are these? Yeah, these lashes are by my very talented and amazing makeup artist friend known as Tiffany. I will link her channel down below. I've mentioned her already in this video, but just in case, her link is down below. And she's brought out her own line of lashes. She's not paying me to say this, by the way. I'm just really, really impressed with them. This is the first time I've put them on. They're really easy to apply and she's got a fab video as well on how to apply them, so definitely check that out. Um, they're really reasonable in price, they're real hair and they're just lovely. So I just have to give a shout out to Tiffany with her lashes because they're bloody excellent. So yeah, that's my little side note for you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, share it with people as well and you know just share the love and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!